I started mapping a little bit of khaki. This is what I've built off stream. All right. It is about five blocks, but five very powerful blocks. I'm going to show you guys a trick I've never seen anyone else do in Trackmania. I have it here, but I built a duplicate just to not ruin my respawn. Hi, smile. Basically, you start with an ice turn into a dirt turn, like this dirt flick thing. And then you have a pillar. <laughs> and what you can do with this pillar, guys, is hit the back wheel against it to get a lot of angle. You get onto the ice and you have this huge rotational momentum in first gear, which will always grip. And the resulting interaction is this. You got to pay close attention. This right here. Boom, and you get an instant sharp ice slide. Do you see this? And there is no way to get this amount of speed if you don't do the pillar hit. So you're going to do this dirt flick thing. You're going to crash the pillar and then just yeet back with an ice slide. But this took me probably an hour to set up properly. And I just saved you guys all that time. And essentially, khaki maps nowadays, in, in the olden days, you had just one trick. One trick and done, right? Nowadays, you typically have two tricks on a khaki map. So you do this, which honestly, that was kind of crazy how well that worked. <laughs> <laughs> you do this, and then we need something else. And I'm thinking we just land on these, these narrow platforms again. I like when a theme repeats, right? If you listen to a song, I like when Hello. the chorus comes back again, but a little bit more epic the second time. You guys know what I mean? So I think we can build something like this, and then think about how to repeat this trick a second time. Now, khaki's been like a thing in this game since 2016. Like, khaki's khaki has been a thing. There are khaki maps before that too. But the actual like month long competition since 2016, 2017, around there. So it's a tradition in the game and I like to, uh, to do my part to build something cool. I wonder if we could do this. One, two, you're going out of the ice slide, three, and now a very sharp third one, which is not going to be a double. Isn't that the same turn? It is. That's a bit boring. Could you do this? <laughs> <laughs> this is experimental, let's see. Flute Vanessa, thank you. Korma, thank you. Roshan, Spartan, Crafting, Sheffy. Thank you guys all. No, you can't do this. Can you stay sideways? Oh, you can. Is that interesting? It almost feels like that's more interesting. Thoughts? If the path goes here instead. And then the idea would be you could actually fall off. Not sure though. I mean, I could, I could make it very mean and make it like a curve here that you have to land on. Maybe this feels more trial slash khaki-ish, right? Gorilla grip plus dirt flicks with small jumps that make you keep speed. Sorta. Oh, that's, that's possible. But I've never seen the trick before. So if someone has seen this, I, I would be interested to see, because I think this might be the first time. It's so um, <laughs> precarious now, this map. And it might be very hard to validate. That's another thing, guys. Can we do like a, it's such low speed. Can we do a really sharp one? Can you do that same pillar hit into a bug slide? Smile. You cannot, because you have uh, icy tires. And icy tires basically make a bug slide impossible. So that's the the one thing about this. You can really only do this trick from the pillar hit. You have icy and dirty tires. Which uh, which does make it possible to do this. Hmm. I feel like it should be not there. It's close. It should be this because that's a little too sharp oh this is rough though maybe let's build another one of these huge shout out to uh Yellips, guys i went into the trackmania scenery discord and just desperate need today and he got me a um custom item this ramp right here which means we can now have jumps. 
that we otherwise could not. Place one there and one there. I feel we need to change this one up though. Either what you land on, the rotation, something, right? Because the exact same trick twice is boring. Also, we need a checkpoint here. I'm gonna remove all the checkpoints, of course. It's just for testing. It makes it so much easier. I wonder if we can hit this like differently somehow, right? If we can get a different spin with it. That, that could actually be cool. Listen, this this is gonna be the decider whether this is good or not. Look at my inputs, right? I am only holding right for this. For the first one, and the way you get this ice slide is you hold left. Like if you only hold right on the first one, it's not gonna work. So these are actually two different variations of the same trick. This is a left one, right? And then the second one, click like my inputs again. Here I think we can hold right, and this gives less speed. So the only way you can force this is if you take advantage of the one thing this gives you, which is to do a spin, do our release 360. So maybe we hold right on this one and have boosters here after the spin. I think I like this. Gotta give you time to stabilize, right? But not... <laughs> now I want it to be in one go. I want you to not have time to stop here. You should just go. Oh, I also had an idea for the ending, but I think, guys, we'll, we'll play something now and we'll see it. So here's the idea, right? Ramp here and then uh, it aligns with this one. It does. Yes. Good. Now you have a jump and now a finish <laughs> would be the idea. I don't know what it is, but this doesn't turn the car enough compared to what we built earlier. It really does not just yeet the car, which is the experience that I want players to have. I'm sorry to say, but the, this pillar is better. This is the, the best pillar we found. It doesn't give that zoop. Yeah, what's going on? Why, why is this pillar so much better? It could be that because it's wider or something. Like it just works better. I don't know. Make the pillar red so it bounces better. Okay. Alerts are loud. Okay. Sorry. That's it. That's what I wanted. And it works. Okay. Guys, I think it's validation time. <laughs> Is this not good? We can even... I dare say remove these. The only thing to find out, right? Eight months, wow. Is how extreme to make the speed check. That was 240. I actually thought a finish like this could be cool. And then just making this a pretty difficult one to reach. Chat, this is a public service announcement. Why Wirtual puts us through khaki mapping hell. Why not subscribe to Virtual TV on YouTube? Oh my! We need 285,000 more subscribers on Virtual TV. Once Virtual hits 1 million subs on this channel, he promised to complete the longest ever Trackmania map. All 145,000 turns of hell. I didn't think anyone would remember that. I don't remember saying that. Guys, let's do, let's do a validation run with checkpoints, alright? Let's do it with checkpoints. Oh. Almost. <laughs> it's so much speed on this one. Look at- just look at that rotation, it's crazy. What? That's fascinating. Surely you can drive it slow instead of doing the flick? Oh, there's no way. That's the really cool thing about this trick. Like, if you slow down... ...and you try to set up for a jump here... Like, you're not even close. There, There is nothing you can do here. Let's, let's change this. Uh, the one pudding! Thank you for the 500 kroner! That is $50. Thank you so much! Huge! Thank you, thank you. Better than KSI's new song? I still haven't heard it. I've just seen the memes about it. You're kidding. Buckley, how did you find out that the red pillar is better? It's actually easier to aim for, maybe.
Maybe you just see it better. <laughs> the red pill. I don't think this is uh, the branding we want on our khaki map. <laughs> red pilled khaki map. <laughs> this is a fine, fine solution. Not the most elegant. But I think it's good enough to start building scenery. I like daytime, so I think we're gonna keep daytime, but we're gonna definitely do better colors. And the day is out of these color palettes. I typically like blue. So if I start using this, then I can pick between all these blue colors. The pillar is now blue. <gasps> I just realized a flaw with our plan, guys. We cannot have a red pillar anymore if we do this. Once you go for this choice of, of colors, you cannot include anything that isn't from this color set. So I can now no longer get a red pillar for the balance, so this map is going to be a lot harder. Not worth it? Yeah, do we go for red? No, no, I, I think... I think go for the red palette, maybe. This right here is the map that we have with uh, with a nice little mountain town, a, uh, a serpent peeking over the mountains, the eagle, and of course the driving in the middle. I'm going to show you guys, and this is what we're going to try to do now. It's only driving. I got a very close attempt earlier today when, when testing this, so I will let you guys see that. Starting with this trick, dropping down into the ice. You dirt flick, you have to crash the pillar on purpose to get a sharp ice slide. Then you land on an ice slide on the bridge. There's a small gap here to put on shortcuts. You do the same trick again, but this time across boosters, crash next to Joel, and jump into the fish. I got this all in one go. This was no checkpoints, no nothing. I basically just messed up the ending angle. So I will add one to my end fails counter and hopefully We'll get this done without too many attempts. I'm gonna start the timer. The timer is a bit skewed because we spent a lot of this one and a half hour mapping and yapping. But now we're gonna drive it and try to farm this and hopefully it won't take too long. The landing's better. Uh, the setup is the same, but the landing is easier. And the next part is, I think, easier too. Overall, I said this was a blue map yesterday. Now I would rank it as a green, the second easiest tier. But where I would rank this map high is in the fun category. Thank you, thank you. Going for an Easter egg on the left. I think it might be faster to go right after the jump. Oh. No need to thank me. No! That okay. Okay, but okay, we landed one. We landed one. And fails two. What's your difficulty? I think it's a green map. Is the timer correct? Two hours? So clubs, yesterday, uh, the landing was really hard. I changed the landing now to make it easier. So yesterday, I actually could not land on this block that easily, but now I can. I mean, I'm completely throwing here. Also, did you guys notice the um, shortcut prevention? I made this, which I thought was neat. I actually haven't tried if you can drive back, but I don't think so. I just made a gap and then, oh, now you can't get back. If you can, this would be crazy. Interesting. That is interesting. It's lower! What do you mean you can get back? It's literally further down. Oh, this is such a headache. Okay, I'm gonna make this one pixel higher then. Now, we are safe. Okay, great. How do you get inspiration for Khaki gameplay? I get inspiration from other maps I've played. 
So the idea for this trick came from Deep to 2, where when one time when I was trying to do an ice flick, I crashed and got a speed boost, and I saw that this was a thing. And oh. No! Imagine that was the one. Is there any rules for khaki validation? If you haven't validated by the end of stream on Saturday, could you just put the map on a server on Sunday for it to get validated in time? Nice. Or private server with friends? No, I remember you, have you to... asked someone to validate one of your other maps you did for a previous khaki. They actually changed that. So before we had this a lot happen where someone would build a map, be two ways to validate it and just give it to another person to validate. The rule now is that both players must at least have placed, I think, one block each on the map. <laughs> oh, so I'm trolling here. Uh, to, to... To be allowed to make it a dual map. If not, you have to do it on your own. No! I could also do a ring. And to be honest, I, I think I would like a ring more. I didn't want to do more mapping today, but I think this is a healthy change. And th the point, really, guys, is just to get one version validated. And then we can always do changes to perfect it. Speaking of voids, you see the new satellite pictures of space? I did not. I'm not too interested in, in space. Space kind of scares me. Why is it so empty? The hell? Add some scenery to space, man. Don't make it all just... It's a little boring. No. That... So close to hitting the pillar, right? That was actually very close. Best attempt yet, I think. Of the stream. If I get a cat and I later want to get a dog, will the cat get insulted? Because I think I still want a dog leader. <laughs> no! Oh, if I press left earlier, I think that was it. So close. That was map, uh, or map. That was end attempt 20, guys. End attempt number 20. Virtual, would you actually enjoy grinding this if it wasn't your map? I mean, it is a stunning map. It is a cool map. It's a unique map. <laughs> like, no one's done this before. That makes it cool. So it doesn't really matter what I think of it. It's still cool. Like, a first of its kind. I just wasted two hours of my life watching you failing and have a written proposal by 2359. YouTube viewers for Twitch Prime. If you have a written proposal, bro, you got stuff to do. <laughs> I mean, I guess we'll find out, guys, if you can stop now. This will be the worst other time of all time. Ah, okay, yeah, over angle. I was just trying to figure out why that didn't grip at all. But I over angled too early. Go, 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 we're going. Just vote it. Let's get Chess into the stream rewards. Let's do it. Yeah, do vote. Do vote for Chess in the stream rewards. Being a category. I mean, honestly. No. Not enough rotation. 22. Yes. Yes, we're done! After 22 end fails! That air break was so clutch! Long time no see. That air break was so clutch! Holy! And the ending, I think, is good, guys, right? Go for sub 15. It took me two hours to beat it once. I'm gonna save playing this until it gets in the event, if it does. 
Peya. 